Okay, are you ready? If you're already walking, congratulations. First of all, if it's in the morning, I'm thrilled you're up. Hope you are too. I don't care if it's cold, dark out, bright, sunny, you're alive and you're moving. Secondly, you're about to give yourself this exercise. So let's begin walking right now. You know the breathing pattern. Most of you are gonna be doing the four, four. You're inhaling four through the nose, exhaling four out the mouth. And again, if you know the finger tapping I described, let's do it. So here we go. Keep on breathing, you're doing great. If you don't know the pattern again with your fingers, it's as you're inhaling, tapping your right index finger to your thumb, your right middle finger on the second breath, your ring finger on the third breath, your pinky on the fourth breath. As you exhale, tapping the index finger to the thumb again on the exhale, second exhale, middle finger to the thumb, third exhale, ring to the thumb, and then finally fourth exhale, pinky to the thumb. And just keep repeating that and you'll feel the stimulation in your fingertips. Listen up, keep breathing, I'm just gonna talk to you. You can listen and breathe at the same pattern, it's okay. So one of the things you might wanna do is add an incantation here. You might wanna take a break from this breath pattern and just do an incantation. Say a phrase like, every day in every way I'm feeling better and better, yes. Every day in every way I'm feeling better and better, yes. It's a four, four count if you listen to the rhythm of it. Four, four in, four, four out. You can even do it while you're still breathing. Just think it in your mind as you're breathing in. Every day in every way. And on the exhale, I'm feeling better and better, yes. I'm feeling better and better, yes. As you speak out, you're exhaling. This is something that can stimulate you while you're moving, while you're breathing, and get you ready for incantations later if you want. You can change it to every day in every way. I'm feeling happier and happier, yes. Every day in every way, I'm feeling happier and happier, yes. Every day in every way, I'm feeling more and more healthy, yes. Every day in every way, I'm feeling more and more healthy, yes. Anything you want to add to that rhythm, it's an old incantation, it's been around forever, it's got a nice rhythm to it. It's something you can actually run to as well. So continue your breathing and you'll feel the state change.
Okay, gradually come to a normal breath while you're still moving. We're not stopping walking. Now, by the way, you may notice you feel really strong in your body or centered or maybe quite happy. Just kind of notice how you feel right now. What are the emotions in your body? Are you noticing anything visually differently? Is your mind more focused or is it more free? Here's an important question. How are you feeling now compared to five minutes ago when you first started breathing like this? Has your state changed? I bet it has. Okay, let's do three minutes now of gratitude where you really get associated with a great feeling. So keep on walking and I'll tell you how I do it. I start to think about everything and everyone in my life that I'm appreciative of. As I'm walking, sometimes I'll even close my eyes if I'm on the beach or someplace where it's okay to do so, or I'll just imagine the specific people that I really love in my life and that I'm grateful for. And I start with a spiral just outside myself. I'm grateful for my own life, my own health, the choices I have, the freedoms I have, the knowledge, the skills, the caring. And then I start thinking about my children. And then I start thinking about my wife. And then I circle out to my closest family members, my closest friends. And the spiral gets bigger. And I see or feel or imagine their face or feelings or things I'm grateful to them for. The more you can think about the people and the situations in your life you're grateful for, the better you're going to feel. Keep on walking. You can breathe in any way you want, any pattern you like. You can breathe normally if you like, but just flood yourself with the feelings of gratitude. What are you grateful for? If you want to strengthen it, speak it out loud. I am so grateful to God. I'm so grateful for my health. I'm so grateful for my health. I am so grateful for my health. At the minimum, think it in your mind. I'm so grateful for my wife. I love her so much. I'm so grateful for the love we share. I'm so grateful for my son, Jarek. I'm so grateful for my daughter, Jolie. I'm so grateful for my boy, Josh. I'm so grateful for Tyler. And they think about things that I'm grateful for, about each of them individually. And you feel it. So as you hear this music, create a spiral if you want, or just think of the people in your life you love, that you're grateful for. And you say, I'm not grateful. I'm grateful for nothing. Well, if you wanted to be grateful, what could you be grateful for? What are the things in your life you're grateful for? What are the opportunities? Who are the people? What are the situations? What are the histories? What knowledge? What are you most grateful for? Just think about it and feel it while you walk. Fill yourself up with this emotion. It is juice. It'll get rid of the fear. It'll get rid of the stress. It'll make you so happy. I've met so many people that seem to have everything and they're unfulfilled, they're fearful, and they're stressed because they're not grateful. And as I've told you before, I've met so many people who seemingly have nothing, and yet they're so happy because they're grateful. When you're grateful, you're rich. When you're ungrateful, when you're not appreciative, you're stressed, you're poor, you're frustrated. Give yourself the gift. Keep walking. And just think and feel. And if you want, speak aloud what you're grateful for. Just say, I'm so grateful for. Especially if you, if you yell it out loud, it'll intensify it even more because you're engaging your body. Do whatever works for you, but create this emotion now. Go for it. Think of all the things you could be grateful for and actually feel that sense of deep appreciation, that sense that your life is blessed. Who is in your life today and you feel blessed because they're there? Who do you love? Who loves you? Think about it. Feel it as you're walking here. Feel that joy that comes with knowing you are truly blessed. Think of the wealth of what's in your life that you could be grateful for. The knowledge, the books, the ideas that you didn't have to think up that now are a benefit to your life. The technology, the choices, the friends, the opportunities. What are you truly grateful for? What could you be grateful for if you really wanted to feel grateful now? What's wrong is always available, and so is what's right. What's right with your life? What do you appreciate about your life? What could you appreciate if you really wanted to? What's beautiful in your life? What's magical if you really noticed it? What's magical in this moment? What can you be grateful for right now in this moment to yourself or to your creator or to anything or anyone else? Okay, it's been three minutes of gratitude 
If you want to continue for five or more, just pause me right now or pause the music and keep walking for a couple minutes. And then when you're ready to go to the next step of visualization, that is what you want to create, click me back on. All right, I assume if you're listening, you're still with me in stage two. Remember stage one, we did moving and breathing. Now we're at stage two, gratitude and visualization. So let's do the visualization part. Now, as you're walking right now, you might say, but I don't visualize, I don't see things clearly. Visualization isn't purely visual. You don't have to visualize perfectly. It means more of like, get a feel, get a sense, or imagine, see or feel, what's ever easiest for you, or combining them is the best. What I want you to do is begin now as you're walking to imagine the things you want to have happen in your life as if they've already occurred. The reason you're going to do this is the brain does not know the difference between something you vividly imagine and something you actually experience. So pretty soon, it can't tell the difference and starts to feel just as certain. So as you start thinking about the things you want to have happen, see it as done. Feel it as done. Give thanks. Feel yourself being grateful. You might even say, thank you, God, or thank you, life, or thank you, nature, whatever is right based on your belief systems. Thank you for all that I have in my life. Thank you for this goal that I've now achieved and describe it. Thank you for my body being so fit and strong, even if it doesn't quite look that way yet. If you keep affirming that, if you keep owning it and feeling the gratitude, your mind and body will change to it. The more that you can see and feel things as real, the quicker they will become that. Remember, Everything in your external world started in your internal world. It started as a thought, a feeling, a desire, something you created. Think about your body and your goals for that and see them as real. Think about your career goals, the things you want to achieve and see them as done. See the things you want to do or be or achieve or create for your family, for your kids, for your husband or your wife, for your boyfriend or your girlfriend, for whoever you care about in your life. Think about all the things you want to create in every area of your life that matters for you. Emotional, psychological, spiritual, financial, relationships, social, making a difference, whatever matters to you most. Walk now, see it, feel it, imagine it as real, like you're celebrating it's already happened, like you're so grateful that these things have already occurred in your life. Go ahead and keep walking. Use the music, use your mind, use your body. Make your vision for your life real right now. By the way, as you're visualizing, you can do your breathing if you want. You can go back to your 4-4 or just kind of notice how you're walking. Walk some of the times while you're visualizing with a sense of excitement in your body. Some of the time you're walking while you're thinking about your goals, feel so grateful. As you're thinking about your goals as you're walking along, maybe feel strong so you link a sense of certainty that you are going to make this happen, that this has happened in your life. Remember, your body will affect the way you feel and the way you're feeling emotionally will get attached to these goals. Pretty soon they won't be goals, they'll be your reality. See and feel it happening again and again. As you keep visualizing, keep walking, feeling great, you may have been visualizing things you want to have happen that are like five years in the future, 10 years in the future. Think of some things you want to have happen this year. Or if you've been doing that, maybe right now, start to think about things you want to have happen this week. What are some things you want to achieve this week and see them as if they're already done, as if you already experienced them, if the victory was already there. And after doing that, maybe even think of today. Who are some of the people you're going to meet with today? See the result of those meetings. See the people smiling or happy or pleased or the deal is made or your children are really happy or the humor is really there. Great smiles, laughter. See, feel, get a sense for what you want to have happen in the short term as well now. Okay. Now, we've done the first two stages, right? In the third stage here, we want to do incantations and some form of exercise. So let's do them together. I'll be right here beside you. So if anybody stops, you can say, listen, it's this guy. All I'm doing is repeating. He made me do this, all right? So let's try this one first. All I need is within me now. Now, as you're saying this, think about that all the things you need in your life for it to work are already within you. All the faith, all the certainty, all the passion, all the happiness, all the joy, all the love is inside of you right now. So let's continue. All I need is within me now. All I need is within me now. Say it loud. All I need is within me now. All I need is within me now. All I need is within me now. Say it strong. 
All I need is within me now. 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 Now think about this. All you really need is within you right now. Now while you're running or walking or anything else, you can be chanting this. Again, it needs to be out loud. You have to use your body. You have to have your face express it. Everything, not just say it. This is not an affirmation. All I need is within me now. No. All I need is within me now. And you're using your body, your face, everything. And you can say it with love or joy. You can say, all the joy I need is within me now. Try it. All the joy I need is within me now. All the joy I need is within me now. You can use this rhythm for anything. All the love I need is within me now. All the love I need is within me now. All the love I need is within me now. Speak what you want to become. Speak what you want to feel with enough intensity over and over again, you will feel the certainty. Okay, we've been doing these incantations now for about three minutes. You got the sense of it. Pick one or two you like, and now you can continue doing this if you wanna walk for another 10 minutes, or if that's all you're gonna to do today, you just did 15 minutes to fulfillment. How do you feel? You feel strong? You feel grateful? You feel centered? What a way to start your day. Or if you're in the middle of the day, what a way to get rid of the stress. Now go have a meal and you won't overeat. Or now go back in that meeting instead of having a cigarette or well, it's the end of your day, congratulations. If you are making this your hour of power or 30 minutes to thrive, in other words, if you're gonna add exercise to this, keep going now. Now's the chance for you to exercise and declare your life the way you want it by doing incantations while you're doing it. So congratulations, if you're finished now, think about how you want your day to be or review your day and the magic of it. If you're continuing, keep listening. We'll continue with this music for you to exercise or you can put on your own. But for the next 15, 30, or 45 minutes, all you want to do is work out in a way that not only uses your body, but uses your emotions by doing incantations. Enjoy, play, have fun, and then come back to me. I'll give you the final step for your warm down if you decided to make this more than 15 minutes today. Keep listening if you want to use this music or go to the final celebration stage at the end of the session. Okay, congratulations. You're probably in your warm down now, probably walking again. So just for a moment too, as you're walking, just take in the environment you're in. I don't care if there are a bunch of buildings or there's people going by or there's cars or it's raining or it's snowing or it's sunny or you're by the beach or in the desert or in the forest. I don't care where you are. Take in your environment and feel how alive you feel inside. See, a big part of life is celebrating the magic moments. I have a belief that at the end of your life, you're not gonna remember everything. You'll remember certain moments. You know, you may achieve a lot of things, but it's the moments that make you fulfilled. So as you're walking along, think about this moment. What do you love about this moment, this morning, this afternoon, today? What's been great already? What can you be proud of already? What are you excited about? What could you be excited about if you wanted to be? What are you grateful for? Who do you love? Who loves you? 
Maybe there's some moments that have happened this week that have been special to you. Maybe a special hug from your son or daughter or somebody you love deeply. Maybe there was an exciting look you gave somebody or they gave back to you and it's like, ooh, I like that. That's a nice moment. Maybe it's a moment where you came up with an idea this week. Or maybe it's a moment you weren't going to do something and you pushed yourself. I don't know. What was a magic moment for you? A great phone call. A great conversation. A great meal. A great movie. You know, a piece of music that touched you. As you're walking for this minute or so, just think about some magic moments. Some moments from your life. Some moments from this week. You don't have to worry about the right moment. Any moment. Just stack them. Flood yourself with the good feelings that come from the juice of your life. Okay, been feeling pretty good as you finally start to wrap up. Now what I want you to do is very simply is this, set up your day to be a total victory. Take a look at the day that's coming before you. Now if this was the end of your day, think of tomorrow. See today is another unique opportunity. Remember as I said before, our days are built, we create them. Our lives are built by our days and the ways we handle them. So let's move into the future, into the end of today and look back on it right now as if it was already done. Let's observe all the important things you did today. The things you did to make yourself happier. The things you did to make yourself healthier or more balanced so that you could achieve not only your major goals, but really enjoy them. That's right, think about it. As you look at this day as if it's already done and you love the day, notice all the details. Sensing things you never sensed before. Hear some things you haven't heard before. Become so much more sensitive to the heartbeat of life and responding with your new emotions, with your new resources. See some of the meanings you're going to have today, but see them as already done. See the person smiling. See the deal made. See the person happy. See some of the laughter that's going to come out of this day. The smiles. And as we did before, it's time to turn up the juice. Feel this day as a victory. Feel this as a day that was well lived. What do you see? What do you feel? What happened today? Feel grateful and feel excited for the day you spent another day alive. Feel grateful for this heart that's been beating without you having to tell it to. The ears that get to hear these wonderful conversations. The eyes that allow you to see the smiles. The opportunities, the challenges, the fun, all of it. The skin that surrounds your body that you can touch things and food and people. The taste of life. Take it all in. Feel the day as magnificent. And as we finish this and we start your day, let's turn up the energy in your body. Let's turn up the beauty. Imagine there's this dial right in the middle of your chest and it's got five clicks to it. Number five is you're vibrating with so much joy, so much passion, so much happiness, so much strength. You cannot wait to make this day happen. Click on number one. Feeling the beauty of this day. What a beautiful opportunity you have to feel this energy of life. To actually create the energy dial in your body. Right here in the middle of your chest. And click it to number two. Where you start feeling yourself building and becoming stronger. Each number you turn it to feel a little stronger. A little more energy. A little more excitement. A little more happiness about your life. A little bit more like you're taking charge. Feel it. Enjoy it even stronger. Turn up the dial to number three. Feel it gently growing. Notice your body's beginning to feel more healthy, even more than before. Feel your breath in your body. Feeling the energy dial going up. Turn it to number four. Stronger now than ever before. Like there's magic in your life. There's magic in your body. Like anything you want to make happen, you can really create it right now. Like it's building. Like your health is radiating to every pore of your body, your mind, your emotion, your skin. Notice your breath is strong. It's full, it's complete. Feel it. 
feel it. Now number five, feel like you're vibrating with this. Like this day is a gift. Your life is a gift. It's an opportunity to give, to share, to grow, to enjoy. Value every moment of your life, every person in it today. Knowing that everything that happens, happens for a reason and a purpose, and it serves you. All you gotta do is feel the magic. Feel that magic and love this day. Know that this day, my friend, is going to be magnificent. So as you turn off this session, know that this will be another day in which you live with passion. Enjoy and God bless.